best bites forever. Hey everyone, I'm Chef Alicia, and today we're going to be making seven layer dip Greek style. Oh, that was so bad. Okay, moving on. The first thing that you need to do is dice up your cucumber into little bite sized pieces and wash it first, of course, because you don't want to be eating funky dirt. This is the way that I cut up my cucumber, but if you want to do it differently, whatever. So the first thing I do is I cut off each end and then I cut it in half and I stand it up and kind of cut it into three sections so that it's a little bit thinner. And then just go back over each of those sections and cut it a uh, long ways again so that it's kind of like you have cucumber french fries. From there, just turn it sideways and cut it into little cubes so that you have perfect little pieces of bite-sized cucumber. And the next thing that we're going to cut up is a tomato. And again, I'm doing this in fast motion so that you can just see how I quickly dice up my tomatoes. I just started mine stem side down on the cutting board and I made four slices into it. And then I'm just doing one half at a time. And again, cut it kind of like french fries and turn it sideways and cut it into the cubes. And as you can see, I missed one little bit there and just kind of went back over it because you do want to make sure all of these are bite sized since you're making a dip that people are going to be scooping. Go ahead and set those over to the side and the next thing that you will need is some black olives. So I want you to use a good quality black olive here, not the funky kind that you get in a jar, but more the kind that you would buy at a deli, you know, and you weigh it out and that whole deal. And we're just going to roughly chop them here. We're looking to have about one cup of the chopped up black olives when we're all finished. Okay, so now we're ready to start layering our dip. The first layer that you're going to put down is going to be hummus. You can use a store-bought hummus if you would like to, but I also have a really killer hummus recipe that, of course, you're welcome to use, and I'd love for you to check it out. You can click the link to watch the video or, of course, go to my website, bestbitesforever.com. Spread your hummus on that bottom layer as evenly as you can because you don't want part of your dip to have, you know, a huge bite of hummus and then you go to another part of it and there's no hummus, so you get the idea. The next layer is going to be a plain Greek yogurt. Please don't put strawberry yogurt in this because that is not going to be a tasty dish when you get it all done and you're going to be like, ew, it didn't come out right. And I'm going to be like, well, you use strawberry yogurt, silly. Again, make sure you spread this nice and even all the way across the hummus. The next thing that I'm putting down is a combination of my tomatoes and cucumbers. I actually just kind of dumped them in a bowl together as I was chopping them up so that I didn't have another dish to clean because I don't like doing dishes. But it's fine because they're friends and they like to go down in one happy layer anyway. And make sure you kind of press on them a little bit because if you don't then your dip will kind of fall apart when people go dipping into it which is not that cool. Um, the next thing that I'm adding in here is my red onions and I put a quarter cup just sprinkled right across the top and then my very delicious high quality don't forget high quality olives are going down next and spread them nice and even all over the top and you can really put this down in any order that you want but I just happen to think that this looks really really pretty but you can do your olives first or your tomatoes first or whatever you want to do just make sure that you do your hummus and your Greek yogurt first first and then you can layer the rest of it the way you want the next thing that I'm putting down is my feta cheese and again I'm using a good quality feta cheese here because it is oh so yummy. So just make sure you're using good ingredients in this. And last but not least is dill. Um, I'm using a teaspoon of dried dill mostly because I murdered my fresh dill which was growing in the garden. So sadly I had to use dried but if you're using fresh then use a tablespoon of fresh. And this is what it's going to look like when it's all finished. I served this with warm pita chips and it was super yummy. Happy cooking everyone! Best bites forever dot com.